So all that irrigation, every time I switched on a tap there and a lot of water came out, it all coming from here. Get ready! Get ready! Hi everyone, it's Kathy here. Welcome back to my channel. And this morning we're here at Shannon um, New South Wales for another course of um, permaculture. And um, I'm sure we're gonna learn more this time and I will show you later of um, what they so got this here. is the entrance of um, um, Jeff's um, farm. Um, I think normally um, it was Bill Mollison who, who owns this place and then I think he bought it from Bill. And you can see here how they done their um, vegetables here. So that's what we are aiming also to to do. So here they said they put that banana there, bananas, just to stop the grass from going crossing to the other side. And here this is how how they did it. So this is what we are also trying to do on our farm. So, but still, we still have to learn more from them. So, if you can see here, they got um, strawberries, um, rosemary, and I think that's a fennel. We do have ticks at the moment this time of year. The little baby. So, these are the students here for the for the course for today. And, and I think Jeff is coming now. So, see, that's how they put the. Um, Dry leaves under the tree. So that's what we're also getting to the sign of one. Yeah, yeah. It's like the compacted earth man connected to the swale. But I'm I'm below one of their um dams. It's big dam. Do you see the dam? They have a very nice cows here, they look very healthy. Um, and um, this one here is uh, supposed to go in the freezer um, 12 years ago. So that's the compost. They make this compost and when it's um, ready then that's, that's what they put in the plants. This is the other uh, way also of um, keeping the, the grass. Well, you know, it's a passion of slavery. One you know. of their wild, and it's very wide. Yeah, we need to maybe dig out a bit more. Mm. This on. is their another swale, very long. This one swale up there, for, I don't know how long it is, but um, their swale is really um, wide. So uh, we're also going to maybe make what, some of this. We've already done a few swells in our farm. That's sweet one. They do the let the chickens or the ducks to regenerate the soil. Yeah, this will be the first uh, week one. This will be week two. This will then will happen to the soil, and then week three. This one. And I 
having us ready then to, to plant. This is what happened after three. Um, and these little solar system um, chargers, um, they're amazing. You know, gives you quite a shot. Um, it's a little bit more difficult to get the electric net to go over rough ground. So we have to peg it down and make sure it's not earthing out too much. But um, it's allowed us to move poultry all over a farm. Um, we take them through swales, we take them through food forests. Um, we use muscovies because they're actually geese, they're not ducks. Um, and they graze like a goose grazes. Six geese equal a cow and grazing power. Um, not six of those, six of the big geese. Okay, so that's the irrigation. And that's the same pressure that we had over there, roughly. No, there's no water on the farm anymore. Oh. It's that simple. That controls. At, at the moment, it could come from other dams, but at the moment, it's only coming from this one. So all that irrigation, every time I switched on a tap there and a lot of water came out, we're all coming from here. Piping over the wall, but we put the pipes in when we built the dam. Now that's uh, three and a half million litres of water sitting behind this wall. Wow! Uh, That's where we cost were. Eight thousand dollars to build. Paradise on the other side. So. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Lower creek, and then you get up train. Oh, she's and go into she's the thirsty. The red and the yellow one. They're quite old. Like, they're quite big well, they're it's probably not for you to drink. Get ready! Get ready! Everyone, get ready! Everyone, get ready! Everyone, get ready! Everyone, get ready!